Yeah, man. So the Spanish Town Guild of Visual Artists. Why did we start a guild? We realized that the artists was coming up on many, many challenges, right? So we said that, all right, we have to save the art, we have to save the artist. Because we know that the artist is a very important person in the community. You know, the artist to me is like a god, right? That any man can create out of nothing is a god to me. You know, so, and we don't want the society to kill the gods, right? So we say, all right, we have to save the artist. How are we going to do that? As a Garveyite, and Garvey always tell us about, uh, Marcus Garvey always tell us about unity and the power of unity. We say we need to get an organization going because if we don't do that, this modern society is going to kill us off one by one. And we cannot afford to let that happen. So we call up some brethren. Andy Ballantyne. Why? Andy Ballantyne is a whole new story, but I don't say so much about him now. Andy Ballantyne, we call up Andy and say, you know, say, we need to do something to, to um, save the artists and protect the visual arts because we realize that some people, even though they love to have the benefit of the arts, they don't care about keeping it alive. So we say we as the artists have to do what we need to do to keep the arts alive and to keep the artists alive. So we say, what can we do? So we say, all right, we're going to start an organization. So um, we say, what should we call it? We say, all right. Spanish Town, since most of us are from Spanish Town, we said Spanish Town Guild of Visual Artists. So we say, all right. Then after getting into some meetings, we say, yes, all right. We will call it the Spanish Town Guild of Visual Artists. We said that name, we said that name they sound good, you know? So we decided that we'll have regular meetings, to flesh out everything, right? You know, so we start to meet, and um, after meeting a couple of times, we, we, we put a number of things in place to strengthen it. And right now, I would say we are growing strong, but we are still very, 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 very young. Because after doing research on many different guilds across the world, we realize that some Guilds, you know, have, have started even two, three, four hundred years ago. They are very strong, you know, so we get ideas from them. And many guilds in America, you know, different guilds in Jamaica. Not only art guilds, you know, but we look at guild in the University of the West Indies. You know, many different, because we know that the guild is an organization of people that support each other. So we say, yeah, all right. It's a good thing to get such an organization in place. All right, so we say, all right. The Guild. I've been teaching for quite a while now, well over 20 years, you know. I've also taught in the Cayman Islands, you know. So that experience really helped me to to see more of what our teaching and the art experience is all about, you know. And um, it helped me fit to have a deeper understanding of development, people's development. My name is Kenry Brown and was taught visual arts by Mr. Pedley, Winston Pedley, over the Spanish Town High School. And this piece here that I'm doing is called Love and Pain. Because you see, the reason why I get the inspiration by doing this piece is by having a relationship with somebody else and realize it wasn't working out. And it, it kind of mash up my meds in a way. So I get the inspiration to do this piece here. And this piece here is a wonderful piece because most people can relate to this piece. 
Because when you're a person, you know, happy, find new love and everything nice, when you like, when, when you becomes one. You understand? So when you becomes one, it's like you are, the, the, the chain represents as a bond together. But after a while in the middle of everything and relationships start to get sour, then your heart mash up. But I just see we have a black and white here that means everything now that everything don't destroy like that. So by still functioning and communicate with each other, your heart starts to mend, but deep inside your bleed same way. So by here communicating with other people and getting advice and so forth, you understand, keep your strength. So that is one of the reasons why I use the color of the Jamaican flag because each color have a different representative. Like the black represent the struggle that I've been through and the green starting over fresh. Because you know when the grass or even the tree as example, when the tree are bare, it start fresh, fresh green. So the gold represent prosperity also. So you know give up on life no matter what. Yeah, I'm Monty Ellis and I'm a member of the Spanish Town Guild of Visual Artists and I was taught by Mr. Pedley years ago and still in the art world. Right now I'm doing this piece by Elcha, Elcha Beach. I call it the um, Seaside Comfort. You can view and see Kingston in the background and the boat on the beach. Yeah, this one, I like it because I like to be comfortable when the wind is blowing and stuff like that. Yeah, man. So I have to give thanks to the Spanish Town Guild of Video Artists so they can showcase our talent and open up more for the youth to empower the ghetto youth so them have something in the future. They're not just hopeless. They understand there's a hope in the future and it's to video art. And the artist is a very powerful, powerful person. Yes, because God himself is an artist. Because if God never created these beauty, we wouldn't know what would happen. So that's it for now. So teaching helped me to be very patient with youth. You know, because Andy Valentine is a past student of mine. You know, and I remember, he used to be what you call a corridor walker. You know, some people aimless, not knowing where they are going. You know, until somehow we got attracted to the art room. And now... Is somebody who I really look up to, you know. Marcus Garvey is one of our patriots, you know. Yes, if you notice, I gave that piece name. Leadership means pain, blood, and death. So, Marcus Garvey said the ultimate price of leadership is pain, it is blood. And if necessary, death. And His Majesty said the same thing to him. Say, we will suffer and die for truth and justice. So to me, them man are living a different flesh, but them are said the same thing to me. You know, and them man are a good example of what real man is all about. And I promote the image and the teachings of Marcus Garvey to every youth. Because I want every youth to live like a real man.